Hello, this is Vulture Fire. Uh, this is going to be another achievement run. I think this time I'm going to go after the uh, user only commons achievement, which is called, give me a second, commoner. Oh, well, that's, that makes sense, I guess. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to do commons only. I'm going to do an AMA, not for any particular reason, just because uh, it seems like fun. And so, Let's start by looking at the name of cards. So some of them have changed a bit. So one of the big things is we have art now, uh, which is very fun. Because for me, the art is new. Like if you are playing, uh, if you, you're actually playing the game, then probably uh, you have seen, because this will come out probably a couple weeks after this patch goes live. So you'll have seen some of this art before. But for me, the art's all new. I think we do want New Moon. We do want Read the Skies. So Nocturnal Insight is now common. It was, before this patch, a rare. And it did different things. So now it creates this new Pearl of Conjunction card, which creates a Celestial Conjunction in a discard pile, and Celestial Conjunction is big, expensive uh, boom spell. Celestial Bolt is not bad. We could try and do Resonating Blast stuff. Uh, I don't think that's what I want to do. This is now only one mana. It used to be two. And it now, Ritual of the Mind is also cheaper, so it is now combined only three mana to get Ritual of the Mind going instead of five. Uh, and also Ritual of Metal now gives Shield and Purity, which makes it, I think, overall quite a bit better. Um, we are doing uh, just step three with no idols active. I probably could, I think it would be doable to be, to do comms only with idols active, but I'm feeling pretty lazy. So, laziness it is. So for the rest of the run, I do really like Pocket Sand for Naima. I think that uh, being able to do the thing is nice. Being able to do the thing. I know, I'm very, very uh, eloquent. Uh, being able to, to force a spell out tends to be pretty useful. Uh, let's see, I think we'll at least one runic study. It's a way to get what's in mana boost, which I think I do need. Uh, I probably do actually want to try and use a copy of... Um, oh, this, is, this is now drawn only when you, do, when you reach zero mana without increasing the fatigue counter, which is a change. All right, so this is now two mana instead of one. Uh, and the Withering Blast costs one mana, which makes sense because it was way too good. I still think I want one. I think it's very good. Even against, even if we're not against idols, like, this seems okay. Eh, maybe I don't. Definitely want one of those. Um, I definitely need more mana cards. I am considering mana jolt as a way, to, or mana bolt as a way to get mana boost. Um, because yeah, one of the questions is always like, how do we actually win? Do I need at least one spell that does damage? That does damage. So one of the other questions is, is whether I want to try and put together the um, self-status package. Which I'd mostly be doing um, to justify manage ult. But the thing is, like, I don't need Frozen Hide to get tough because I can rely on Nama's Lunar thing to get tough. Uh, flame Control could be interesting, but I think I want to try and do that. Okay, so if I'm not doing that, my other mana could just go with focuses. That seems okay. Patient Flame's not bad, but I think we just want to go with two focuses. We're going to be relying on, like I said, Lunar Armor as our short source of tough. For, oh, New Moon is going to be our mana, our mana, bolt, our, bleh, our mana boost source, so we don't need uh, Mana Jolt for that, I guess. Uh, I would like a little more Wits Generation. Oh, Consuming Incantation still doesn't have art. Interesting. Oh, Divination tends to be pretty okay with Nama because I can see the top part of the deck. And then, yeah, I probably should have, like, another spell that actually does damage. And I think I really like Drain Life, actually, because um, copying it is very good. Like, because we don't play it, it still does stuff. And it's also a little bit of healing, which is nice. Uh, we don't have any shield generation, do we? We're just, well, I guess we do. We can, we're just relying on Nocturnal Insight for shield generation. But we're playing D0, so... It'll be fine. Oh, let's do any type. 
And we are doing comments only, so we are ignoring all of these lovely cards. They do not help us. I'll take new, more new moons. I'll probably take a mana shield. Focus seems okay. Um, I don't think I want to steal elements. I don't think I want to absorb demise. Let's actually just go to Nema. Uh, Resonating Blast needs, is decent for shenanigans, but I don't think I care enough. Celestial Bolt's not bad. Uh, let's just put all those in. I could see myself taking them, potentially. Um, what else? I don't think Pewter Daddy. I would take Pocket Shield. I may take more Pocket Sand. It's hard to say. I may want an Overflowing Barrier. It's possible that I will need more Shield. We'll see. Um... Let's see, crumbling defenses. No, no. Yes, I think I like Martial Prism still. Uh, Equip Shock could be good. I did consider just putting this in the starting list, but I'm a little leery of it. I think Plunder's good. I'm going to study it, probably take another one. I don't think we want Rummage though. Pressure Hunt seems okay. That would be a cleanse source, which if we end up fighting, fighting Maul, we'll probably need. Uh, that's not really what we're doing. That's not really what we're doing. Combat ready is okay. Divination's okay. Uh, Middle Reverie's okay. Mana Lance is okay. Scrag Transmutation's okay. Potent Augury's okay. Quick Bolt seems okay. Mana Shield seems okay. All these cards seem okay. They're just okay. They're okay. They're fine. They're not bad. Hobble. I probably should have Hobble in the starting list, but yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, we have weak from the pocket sand, so we may not need the hobble. That's that's right. I have a plan. Um, Barb Gale could be okay. I don't think we need the reforge because we're not fighting idols. Runic armor does seem okay though. Are you taking more drain lives? Iron parts, sure. Okay, so comments only. Here we go. Yeah, the, so uh, I really like a lot of the name art. It's very pretty. Uh, like I said, it's my first time seeing it. Okay. So, going to depth three. Going to the market. Uh, I'll take a Phoenix Feather. Take three roll token. Take the extra rest. Sure. And yeah, I'm going to be lazy. We're not fighting. Whatever. So we can only get commons. We can't get other things. Munchroom seems probably fine. Could be rough, but I believe in us. We can't take any of the Ruby Dragon cards to begin with, and I think Ruby Dragon is going to be more threatening. Baylor seems okay. Yeah, we are not trying to shrine on. Yeah, this all seems okay. Here we go. Um, this gets us to thresh to fatigue faster, which doesn't seem necessarily amazing, but it does get us a lot more cards. That could be good. This also could be good because I feel like this deck is going to dirtle a bunch. And that helps us win if the fight... That gives us a win condition in longer fights. Uh, I think we just kind of try and take events here, mostly. I might take a Corrupted Blast. Okay, we are in Sun Mode. Um. Hmm. I'm going to do that. I do so I get to get one of these. All right, mana boost. So we can do this to get a starlight out. Let's see, top card of the deck. Oh, of course, another of these guys. Um, which I don't think I care about. Press that at any point to get our... I think we absolutely want a Lunar Armor. Question, do we want another Lunar Armor? Sure. I think we're going to want a Lunar Whispers, which will get us back Pocket Sand. And now we're going to Starlight. We aren't going to be able to actually play that, but that's fine. Uh, top card of the deck is Runic Study. I don't hate doing that. Should we just put more on one thing? Uh, we could do this to get a little bit of growth and mana boost. 
That doesn't seem amazing. Uh, I like just doing that. And then... Yeah, because this is now doing more damage. Uh, so we have a half moon. Should you want to play? I don't really need more lunar armor, but I want more lunar armor, so we're getting it. Probably should have tried to uh, swap stances first. Because now we are in a little bit of an awkward... Well, no, we can do Lunar Whispers. Swap stance. Get a Starlight. Oh, here's this. I forget that it creates that. Whoop. Oh, because it's right. I was like, where is the thing that's supposed to create? It's right there. Uh... Yeah, I think we're just going to go and draw cards. Top card of the deck is Reed's Guys. Don't take the grip by getting that. I don't want to attack into this, whatever. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and get more value for next turn. You're burning out slowly. You're burning out slowly. We should be able to actually just kill them with burning them out. Um, but also, we can get a Celestial Conjunction if we can get the top card of our deck, which we can. Starlight. And that is not temporary, so we can... Oh, but I... Yeah, well, that's fine. We still Strength of the Sun, just so this does more damage. Completely reasonable amount of damage. Absolutely had to do it. No choice. Arcane Aegis seems okay. Barb Gales seems pretty okay. Kind of need more mana. Um, say kind of, we really need more mana. Um, big fan of Lucky Die. Alright, we can Incan Ritual for Purity, which we're probably going to do. And we're going to do this largely just to swap stances. Do that. Do this for the purity. I don't think that is that valuable to us right now. I think I'd rather just go bonk. And there is a half moon. Um. So Starlight, I believe, no, or uh, the other one, no longer gives us wits, right? Yeah, Starlight. Oh no, it still does give us wits. Thought it wasn't going to give us wits anymore, but apparently it is. Well, let's I think just get a ritual of mine because I think we just need more buffs. Uh, top card deck is divination. Getting another divination doesn't seem super useful, but I would do some AOE damage. Just let me do that because this will let us actually. Do that twice. Seems okay. Um, Questions: Do we want to be in? I like being in Sun Stance here. I like get a little more damage out of that, and then we'll be in Moon Stance at the start of this turn. Which seems okay. All right. We can now get tough. All right. I definitely want to get that out. Oh, I'm now in that position again, where it's like, eh, we can do that. We have two half moons, which, as I keep saying, not a full moon. Let's do that. Which will get us back. Yep. Uh, we will get read the skies off of divination, which we can commute into a star ball. Or a starlight is the thing I actually want. You. Let's learn whispers. Get some mana back. Do this for more mana. It's only plus two mana, but still. Um. Where are we at on other things? This is pretty good. Just get. 
and that'll do damage in end of turn. And it may actually... Okay, I didn't quite kill our problems off, but there we go. Uh, we can't take that. This seems okay. I think we just take the mana shield. Uh, refresh seems pretty okay. I don't think we want Siphon Blast. Electrify might be okay. Zap might be okay. Uh, we are in sun mode. We absolutely want to get out of sun mode. Uh, oh, so that's changed. So it no longer consumes burn, just gives you more fire mastery, which seems okay. I actually like that, I think. Uh, how do we do this? We gain fire mastery. We apply weak. We change stance. We get lunar armor. Now we don't want to play that because we want to be able to get half moon. Or the mana boost. Uh, we are now in Astral Mode. Top part of the deck is Arcane Aegis, if we wanted to get two of those. I don't think we do. I do think we want to just draw two cards, though. Um, actually seems okay. That gets us the ability to do that. We don't know what the top card of the deck is, so. Um, do we go through Sun Stance? I don't think so. I think we want to spend next turn. In, we want to start next turn in Sun Stance. Nine. Nine. Uh, top card of the deck is Focus, which does not do us any good. Sunbolt would do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, that's actually very appreciable. Let me just sunbolt you and then change stance. And then we'll just get the kill off of the burn coming off. Alright, I don't think. I don't know. Crypt Shot? It's expensive. I would rather just hit the Potent Augury, I think. Yeah. God, I can't tell how much, like, I'm really having a good time so far with this run, and I, it's so hard for me to tell whether that is the result of um, anything about this specific run, or if it is just the result of... Uh, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. I get here because I'm not actually going to play that. I just wanted to get back. Yeah. So a decent amount of bleed there, or poison there. A little unfortunate. Definitely gonna pop that into whatever. Let's stop the deck. Read this guy's cool. That's kind of what I was hoping for. I would like to chop swap stances, please. Uh, we can get the fire mastery. That's fine. Okay. Oh, whoops! I did not change stances yet. Oops. That's a problem. Now I cannot get the uh, astro the tough that I wanted. Ooh, I've also messed up again. Because now... Can't actually play that without playing the new moon. Which I didn't want to do, but I can. Just messing up all over the place there. Uh, let's get the purity. Oh, uh, the purity's not actually that valuable. I shouldn't have done that. Literally nothing but misplays. Every single thing I did there was misplay. Oops, all misplays. Um... Top part of the deck is New Moon. I don't actually know if that can transform. I guess we can find out. It couldn't on the last patch. Um. Hmm. I suppose it's in a possibly awkward position where we now do have to play this out. That works out. not get our card this turn. 
Maybe we could and then pitch it to get... That doesn't seem super useful. Okay, so these do tri Mmm! That's a bug. Give me a second. So the bug is this one, but neither of these is temporary anymore. Hey, there's that. I'd like another one of those, but... Bonk. That's a lot of value. We can then lunar armor. We can lunar armor again. And stent swap. Because I want to lunar whisper. With a chance of saving the mana boost. Uh, top card of the deck is Incan Ritual. That's fine. Uh, I think we kind of do that. I don't actually know that that was useful. I should have just played this out. Starfall. Sure. Maybe I'll do that. Just need mine for next turn. I'm not even sure what I'm trying to accomplish anymore. Cards, I think. Yeah. And we're just gonna try and oh yeah, we'll just slot bolt. That'll do it. Boop. Don't need to know what I'm doing. Just need to play all the cards. Upgrade. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, so that's, so it's more triggers, basically. Yeah. Virtual mind, because we don't get a port of conjunction plus. Oh, that does go to, writ plus does go to six growth, which is actually a huge, writ of mind goes to six growth, which is a huge, huge, huge improvement. Let me see that again. Yeah. So that does, though, make me want to upgrade this one. Because this is the one that I am most likely to want to put on Ritual of Mind. Because this one I want to spend on getting a payoff. We can upgrade that one. Um, and then for removals, I, the Divination, I'm not totally feeling. I don't know that I'm feeling the Drain Life. Uh, although it's done. Okay, we're first so far. I don't know that I can justify cutting it. But I didn't think about the fact that this would be our wit, our spell source. Things like if we cut this, it makes the Potent Augury bad. And the Runic Armor bad until we get whatever going. Could be an argument to cut the runic armor. I think it's mostly an argument to cut the runic armor. Alright. Runic armor doesn't even have pretty art yet, so. Alright. Start by getting that out. Although this will give us two cards. And we'll get extra tough. Extra tough! And we are now in spell mode. Let's see, top card of the deck is an Arcane Aegis. But we can't get to it and then play it. Best thing we can do here is... This actually ends up being a little awkward. But of course, if we pitch the hand, we just draw a bunch of... We draw everything. We draw a bunch of mana, basically. Should have checked. Should have been paying attention. Okay, so we have... We do this, we can go for Ritual of Mind. We can do this. We can go for a Lunar Whispers, which will pay for the ritual, this Ritual of the Mind, which will give us more mana boost. And these will give us plenty of mana boost next turn. And then we can apply a week to you, just for fun. We could Divination, but we don't really need it to. And now we have this, the two half moons, so we have plenty of mana boost. Like I said, things are obviously going well, but it is so hard to tell if that is just because I am. How much of it is the changes and how much of it is whatever. Anyway, but I mean, this does seem pretty crazy. Let's see, what buffs can we get? Oh, we could ink can for Ripple Bite, and that'll make this substantially stronger. Because that'll now give us the ability to basically delete anything. Uh, uh, we can't play this. We can Solar Flare, which will also get us back this. 
So, tell you. Okay. Kind of priced into doing Lunar Whispers. Hope we can get a Beseech. Which will give us, yeah. I forget that we have Beseech as an option. This might draw us into that. We just created, no luck. Top card of deck is Arcane Aegis, which we can use to just ruin your day. You're gonna die, you may not die to. Hey, we got the threat. And you'll die to burn, and you'll be almost dead. Goodbye. Uh, I think I would take a second one of these over the Electrify. Quiptrot is still just very tempting. I just, I don't know. I'll tap try it. I don't know how to value it now that it's been nerfed, but I won't ever really find out until I try it. Stats decrease every turn plus two seems low value. That also seems low value though. We'll take that. Pure fighting chart has uses. That's just way less value than rot fighting idols. Um, we can get tough. Seems good. Pop you for fun. Most importantly, we now have. Yeah, I should have done that there. It doesn't matter. Half moon. It means that this can now be used to get whatever safely. Uh, just looking at these real quick. So this is still priority one after upgrade. Let's get ritual mind going. Oh, that is not the thing I meant to grab. Whoops. Um, and you can trust by getting two of them. So that will draw us the whole deck. And then we can change alignment. Try to get back to Moon Stance. Uh, let's get Strength of the Sun. Oh, we don't know the top part of the deck is, of course. So I need to change Stance. I can play one card and I have to change Stance. Because I need to be able to get afford the uh, man out of lunar whispers. I'd like to have purity for you, but uh, I don't know that that's in the cards. We can starfall just to get rid of the evasion. Do that again to get another lunar armor out. That doesn't actually seem terrible. And then do that. And that for Siege the Moon for mana, which is an option I have to remember I can take. And then we can do other things for value. That'll transform. We are now bleeding, but it could be worse. Okay. Should have just gotten. I guess it doesn't matter because I got the skill. I was gonna say I should have gotten a stunbolt, but I uh, can't take that. Rampart seems okay. It's a way to get shield while it's in hand. I still just keep going back and forth. The drain life has actually been okay. Potent augury is not amazing right now. Look at me being good and actually cutting things. Oh hey, there's new art on one of the things here. Smog Blast, maybe? Or the other one? Depraved Designs, I think. Which is card I would love to have, but unfortunately, uh, not today. Take, take that. Let's stop the deck. Read these guys. Okay. I guess there's not actually that much point in getting Lunar Armor going, because... The tough won't matter here. The sturdy will, but 
All right, let's get... That doesn't actually even do that much against this incoming leech. There whispers. Oh, we didn't have enough because I had to play this first. Duh. I am smart. Or no, I had to play those first. That was all I had to do. It was that simple. Oh, that's fine. We have some heals. That works out for that. Um, I think we just draw some cards. Okay, that has to happen. Half moon is good. We are out of frail, which means that we can now do this to get the full value. Draw cards. I don't know that I really want to play that. Well, hmm. Casting your last wits, that seems okay. That's good. I could have should could check what I was drawing, but that sounds like it would take happen. Get that out. We could get read this guy's. Just put that out right. Um, play that outright doesn't seem super useful to us. So next turn is going to be Sun Turn. Not to be confused with Sun Turn, uh, the most useless grass type. Alright. Um, I'm going to Sunbolt something to death. Alright. Um, we'd love to just delete this, but we can't quite do that. Well, get really close. Um, is there any way for us to get an additional, like, any more buffs? We already have Fire Mastery. Guess I could just copy that. I didn't actually need to do that, did I? Because I could just... This would, uh, this would finish him off. Yeah, there's no point in actually even targeting that anymore, because it'll just die to the Drain Life, I think. And we can get whatever we want here, because we're just going to use Weak. Should have hit that with the week. Although I guess it already was, so whatever. Not a huge concern. Get rid of the frail. We are still tough. Um, tough card of the deck is Drain Life, which seems okay to get an extra of. We can just hold that. We can get Lunar Whispers for value. How much damage are they doing? Eight? Yeah, so we don't even need to attack that one. Yeah, we have a lethal. Just off of the end of the turn. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, new depraved designs. Cool, cool. Big fan. Uh, I think we take the Moonlit Reverie. We may cut it, but it seems okay. May upgrade a focus. I mean, this guy gets us upgraded Astral Cards, which is pretty good, I think. Uh, that's just more damage. But we do play it multiple times. Lunar Insight Plus. Question is mostly just can we support the extra, um, wets and whatever. I'm not sure we can. Is the main reason I don't want to upgrade it. Um, this creates two copies. Stop card. That becomes weak two, which is okay. Mana Shield Plus is very good. I think we probably have, have to upgrade a mana card. Um, and this will upgrade, this will turn to Half Moon Plus, which gives us even more mana boost. That seems okay. I think that upgrading that is a prerequisite for upgrading the other thing that I want to upgrade. Uh, Divination has been, like I said, kind of anemic. It does give us the wits, but we do have, I think, between the Divination and the Moonlit Reverie, I would rather have the Moonlit Reverie, but that could be wrong. Guess we'll find out. All right. Normally, I want to go here for those, but we can't take that. Because it's a common. We can take that, but we don't. We won't have any cleanse, which is unfortunate. Are there any greedy? What do you think? Are there any keen heals that we could steal? Well, I guess we're not applying enough arcane to consistently get arcane feast to go off. Um, I'd really like to get that going. Although crystal infection is also pretty good. From these, I would like um, augment power. I think. 
I mean, maybe we don't need it, but I want it. Because I could have it. And I don't have it. Um, where are we at on things? Obviously, we're at, nothing, we're at no buffs yet. No trucks, I guess. I think we want to change stance. But I think we actually kind of want to go for mana here. To turn on the mana shield. Is that really worth it? No. We are absolutely... We need to get this going. Or we need to get this going, rather. Which unfortunately, he's playing this. Which I don't want to do. Is that worth it? Is it if we double this? No, I don't think so. Because this isn't the upgraded one. We're just going to let it go. This is where we still get the man boost. We don't get the wits, but... Um, absolutely need to ritual the mine, though. I think. Uh, we can draw a bunch of cards. I do want to hit zero mana before I do that, though. Because I want to get... Um, I want to draw the pockets in for free. I was looking like... I guess there's no great way for me to do that. Because, yeah. It gets me to zero, but... Let's see... Uh, I am totally game for star falling at rain life, though. And we can change stance for value. Uh, apply more weak to you. Sure. Right, we decay three status each turn. Also, I keep forgetting we get that powerful from that, which is pretty good. Uh, let's learn Whispers, which will draw us um, the Pocket Shield, which is nice. Here's now Pocket Shield and Runic Study. I could even play that if I wanted to. Just play it outright. Doesn't seem like the worst thing ever. Right, we are going to take, I think, six damage here from the burn. Because I think that, because we're only taking six from that burn. Because I'm so used to dealing with idle nonsense. Um, let's... Do we need more growth? Do we need more... Take the period, I think. Probably going to Starlight here. No, we can Lunar Whispers because we're going to... We can start off from that. Or this. Sorry, I mean this. Uh, we can Starlight. Let's this. Cards. Alright, now this is ready to go. Put that on you. Completely reasonable. Just reasonable things. And a reminder that card is not removed. We can get back to it eventually. Um, yeah. We probably want to change stances actually. So we want a Sunbolt. To give us lethal. Although, that's lethal there. And now we don't have a way to get to the Sun Bolt. I guess we can just pitch everything that's not Sun Bolt. And now we can afford a Sun Bolt. Bite. Uh, that's not terrible. That's also not terrible. It just draws this card and gets vulnerable. I think I like the actual source of damage. That's not super useful, but it's probably better than the others. Uh, sure. Powerful buff seems okay. May reroll here to force out something we want if we don't get it first time. Uh, top card deck is quick shot. We can also just draw a bunch of cards, which I think I like. Should have played out uh, pocket 10 first. Top card deck is now Mana Lance, which we cannot use. But we can draw a bunch of cards. Kind of priced into doing playing that out, I think. Even though I really don't want to use up a new moon. 
And then we're doing this largely just because I want, um, I don't think I actually want to start next stance in sun mode. But I did want to get out a um, portal, a, a conjunction, so we could get a uh, bunch of color going. Right, so now we're in mood stance, so we can get lunar armor to start with, and then we can get. Uh, I may have to just do a ritual of metal here. No, we're fine. That will be a weak source. Half Moon has evolved. We can play this out if we want to. We just hold it. I think we want to play it. We get a little bit of shield. Unfortunately, we are going to be hit with that Arcane Leak. It's really obnoxious. That has to get played. Um... And I think we just have to take the rest of this damage here because like, we just cannot afford to explode while we have uh, Arcane Weakness. You need to die before you blow us up, though. Okay, do we have a... Yeah, we have Conjunction, which means that now going for Strength of the Sun makes sense. And this is actually going to work out perfectly because this will get us to um, zero briefly. Which will get us back pocket sand and then we can pocket sand into a running study. We are now arcane, link, arcane weakness to twice, but we're going to kill you and that's going to be great for us. Well, that's good for you because you'll be dead. Because we're going to kill you. Uh, we could go into sun stance. No, what we want to do is starlit reflection, of course. Yeah, Strength of the Sun, as you saw, is no longer the same thing it used to be. Because that now is a... There's now a different card. There's a card with a different name that is, does what Strength of the Sun used to do. Oh, that doesn't give us the actual value because we didn't. Or did we? I don't know. I don't think anything matters at this point. I think we're playing with House Money. Get Sun Bolted Loser. And then get Sun Bolted again. Playing optimally is for people who can't just sunbolt things out of existence. Uh, I would take another one of those, I think. It's been pretty okay. Okay. Um, I went to the front armor. Uh, I would like to do that, but I can't. But I may play... Hmm. And we're going to play it. Okay, that's a bug. Give me a second. Alright, so... Because I was doing that just to get this out, assuming it would just trip the one mana boost we had. I wasn't expecting it to actually... Um, whatever. Not that I am sad about it. Alright, uh, two of these is a little awkward, but we can get there. Um, all right, we have one of those. That's still a new moon. New moon. We're going to have to draw more cards, which is Starlight. And we are going to trick our manifest a bunch of times. Not because we have to, but because we want to. There's our wits taken care of. We have not lost our wits. We do that. Sure. I mean, I could do that again, but there's no real reason to. second sorry all right um what am i doing here starlight i guess probably all right so we need to get that played out 
Um, we could take the shield. We are doing pretty okay on growth. Uh, starting to run a little low on wits. Bonk. Bonk. It looks like this one's going to get wasted, but that's okay. We have others. It's not the end of the world. Oh, and we have that. So I can't afford that. Uh, we could discard and drawing everything else in the stack. We already do have one celestial conjunction, but, you know, why have one when we could have two? This also does get us closer to getting back to that uh, conjunction. Ha ha, you fool. You have failed. Now we're in moon mode. We can get tough back. We can get shield from this. We are still... Uh, I guess that, that'll handle our wits needs. Get shield from that. We can stand swap, but... Don't really need that. Honestly, let's do that. And I do kind of want to be in... Yeah, we're going to have both Celestial Conjunctions next turn. Which is going to be pretty good. Um, I could change stance. I do think I want to be in actually... I do actually want to be in the next other stance. Oh, whoops. I didn't actually play the thing to change stances. I am very clever. I am constantly doing that. Although now I don't even have the excuse of uh, just messing up because of the art being the same. I just outright am a dumpty. It happens. Um, and if I attack again, I'll explode, but that's okay, because I don't need to attack again. Arcane Feast, which I would love, but I don't think we can support it. Which is unfortunate. Uh, I don't think that is the force. Quick Bolt seems okay. Quick Bolt seems solid. Some more spell damage. And we can forcibly redraw it. Which seems probably good. Uh, definitely want it tough. We are definitely, I think, priced into Ritual Demite here. Unfortunately, we don't touch zero mana here, but it feels so weird fighting everything in the Crystal Valley without idols, honestly, but mostly, the, especially the, the bosses, because, like, you can have fights in the others without, but again, you, you can't fight the bosses without having idols up if you're playing with idols on. So, anyway. Uh, I think we need at least one Ritual Divine. Especially since we are still in Star Stance. Boop. Oh, that's going to freeze us. That's unfortunate. I don't actually want that. I do kind of want to do that. We are going to need more mana, though. Uh, so if we draw two, we'll draw mana. Um, I do kind of also need shield. Stall light. Okay, this will get us... They'll also get rid of the, um, whatever, so we don't have to do that. And then we can do this for sh for mana. And we could do that for 10 damage. I think that's valuable enough. We could also just stack some wits here. If we do this, we end up getting freezing ourselves again, I think, which, eh, we can do that. Yeah, because we can just play out those. Oh. I'm getting blorped by a different thing. Um, doesn't really matter what we get here. I'm just also redrawing things and then ending the turn. And we froze everything out using the amazing power of value. The nice thing about the purity blocking the specifically give frozen is that it doesn't up their max frost, which is helpful. Um... Doing okay on growth, we don't really need to use this for growth, but we could use it for shield. 
I think we're on. S I think we're actually gonna use it for aggro, and we're gonna pull out Sunbolt. I think it's Sunbolt time. Uh, we can draw cards, but so we're gonna do Sunbolt. Bonk. Um, I think we're just gonna salt. Should've gotten the Nocturnal Whispers out, because it's basically free. I just basically gave up... I'm giving up health here for literally no reason. Uh, I don't need that this turn. They're not attacking. I might need that this turn. Yeah, I probably won't. I feel like I can swap, stance swap. And after stance swapping, I can Starlight. So now we have yeah, two celestial conjunctions. Which leads to the question, conjunction junction, what's your function? Bonk, bonk, bonk. Alright, so those freeze ups did get used up, but we have conjunction and we are in spell mode. I just wanna do that. Get laser. Um, we have plenty of mana boost, so we can do that. More value. We can sunbolt for more value. So I should have checked because I obviously am not a huge fan of not getting to play that. Um, that's fine. We can pitch these three. And that'll get us the mana we need to, um, conjunction. Get conjuncted. Is it kind of conjunctivitis? I'm being told that uh, my jokes are terrible and I need to stop. That'll kill the front one in a turn. Yeah, I. This feels incredibly strong. I'm betting some of the stuff that you're seeing here gets nerfed before this goes live. So you know, don't expect to actually get to use this strategy. Uh, we'll get a little armor. Yeah, there's no way that this easy access to celestial conjunction stays. Is way too effective at solving problems. There we go. Uh, plunder seems risky, but good. We might cut it immediately. I do like the druidic cloak. Could just upgrade. I am kind of leaning towards upgrading those. Does seem pretty good. I may be able to cut Millet River if I do that. I can also upgrade the Runic Study. That's another way to get a lot more wits. I think if I have more consistent wits, I can more afford to get rid of um, Reverie. What's the Quick Bolt upgrade? 12 damage, so it's the same as Quip Shot. So question is what I'm doing more. I think the answer is Quip Shot. I'm just kind of like just upgrading that. And this would also be pretty good. I think that actually makes a lot of sense. Helps fix some of my mana issues. Um, I just don't know if I need the... I think I want it for the uh, wits. I don't think I need the mana lance, though. I think I'm doing fine on mana boost. Alright. Uh, like I think that's inspected closer. We pull hard. Oh, but that's a... We're going to have to get rid of that. Because it's not a common... That's fine. All right. 
Um, I think this just has to be a mind. Not an amazing opening hand for us overall. Um, yeah, because like even if we draw all the cards, we don't get um, we don't get to mana, which is unfortunate. We can do that just for the wits. And also because we'll pull these out so we don't draw into the next one. Oh, and we could do it again. Which I totally forgot was that actually a thing that that does. Yes, I did forget the main point of that card. I don't use it much, okay? Alright, that did unfortunately cost us some of our value. Um, I think we do probably do want to actually play that out. I guess I'm not actually getting played this turn. We are kind of pricing to bolting. Hmm. I do need that kill. Oh, I didn't tap our frozen for all of them, but planning is hard. So obviously one of the things you need to do here is get tough. Do, oh, we don't. We have no clue what we're drawing. Oh, that's unfortunate because I do really need to play that out. Guess I can Lunar Whispers. To play this, and then both of these, which would. Hmm. But it wouldn't stop me from exploding, so I think we're just going to have to eat this explosion again. But we have plenty of shield, so it's not the end of the world. Sure. Looking forward to getting out of the ice. Um, we draw a bunch of cards, which seems okay to me. I'm going to need a Starlight here. Or no, I'm going to need a Lunar Whispers here. We will get a Starfall so that I can uh, trip stuff. Oh, I guess I didn't need it because of that. Well, in any case, Moonlit Reverie into Lunar Whispers. Oh, derp. Should have been more careful. Uh, we can Starfall into a Half Moon if we didn't play. Oh, but I should have. There we go. Need to get that out. Uh, Ritual of Mind here. I think the Lunar Whispers. Oh, I don't have mana now. So I guess we don't. Okay, I don't have to the face, but nothing to us. Doesn't do anything to them either, but. It's principle of the thing. I'm not sure what that principle is, but. Okay, so let's swap stance. Um, I think we're also going to Lunar Whispers here. Lunar Whispers, swap stance, Starlight. Uh, we could Ritual of Mind. I don't think we need Ritual Mind at this point. Uh, I think I would rather... Oh, but that one actually... Oh, well, we can stop uh, another detonation from happening. Or we, we can stop ourselves from getting dispelled again. Which is nice. Okay. Nice. So they'll both be frozen because we just need really any non-mana card here. Oh, okay. Well, we can... Do that. Oh, I thought we had one more mana. Oops. I mean, we do. Uh, we 
and Sunbolt for not enough damage. I'm trying to think what buffs we can pick up that we don't have yet. The answer is not many. Um, I mean, we can get a Solar Flare, I guess. Or whatever that's worth. All right. Should have just gone for uh, that other thing. Doop. Yeah, I don't think we can take that, unfortunately. I don't think we need that. We can't take that because it is not a common. Oh, I don't think we can beat Night Soccer with this, but we'll try. Um, this is without idols active. Uh, this may be, and especially with like how busted it has felt, to what we're up to so far. I actually do think this is probably doable. So we see what we find. Okay, so what did we pitch? We discarded Vicious Retort. That's okay. Absolutely, we'll reach all the mind here. And then debating if I want to. I'm going to strengthen this on. Um, and then we will just, I think we're the mind again. Just so we have plenty of whatever. Yeah, without, uh, without idols backing this up, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, get tough. Get more tough. I think we actually are going to go ahead and do that. Huh. Although playing this is now a little awkward. No, I lied. Because we're going to swap stances. And then I think we're going to do that for the mana. You're not getting much in the way of damage off because of um, whatever, but that is the top of the deck. Millet Reverie, which I would like to play, but can't really do it. That's fine. And then the question is, do I want to start next turn in Sun's in I think the answer is no. So now it is awake and going to be trying to ruin our day. But that helps. Oh, we want to play this out first before we hit zero. And I think we want to do that. Now we'll get back uh, those things. Now we can draw a plunder. You just do that. Let's do that. Just buried under a mountain of weak. You are getting super dispelled at some point. Um, just not quite yet. All right, we do will need shields here. All right, if we draw cards, we are committing to playing that, but we can also play that, which all seems fine. So I think we are going to Starlight. Which conveniently does not trip. Whatever you got. Hmm. I think I want to do this. Okay. Um, let's see what this takes us. I patch the read this guys. Okay, that's fine. I must have this so I could get there. Because I'm planning to sunbolt, I think. Or some damage. Poison Blood is annoying, um, but we can work around that. Absolutely, we'll take more Lunar Armor. Uh, yeah, we'll draw cards, I guess? I don't know, we kind of need mana. I think we're kind of priced into... Actually, we can discard... Yeah, so here's the plan. Catch all of those. We get Lunar Whispers out. 
You need to draw two cards in order to get wherever. Alright. We're going to Lunar Whispers, which gives a lot of mana. And then we can Lunar Whispers again for more mana. It's that easy. Would like more mana cards? Oh, we can read the skies for a Beseech the Moon. There we go. And now we have mana. We don't want to do a ton of damage this turn because of that. If we draw three and discard one, if we draw one more exactly, we get a uh, conjunction. We want to play the conjunction in whatever stance. Um, we do that because like, it's going to do damage in turn anyway, so we may as well get the bigger number. Right, so we are low on mana boost right now, but that helps. Stop it. Okay, so we trip wits. We can trip wits with that. Do that. Seems pretty good. We can stance swap for value. Should I see what was on top? Oh, but I don't actually have a way to get another uh, whatever card out. But we still get the extra damage for just being in pain stance. Donk to draw some cards. How do we have so much mana boost? Absolutely love that card from Mighty. Some more mana boost. Uh. That seems worthwhile. Oh, uh, we're not at zero mana anymore, of course. We're out of everything. We've used up all of our wits. We can merge all the vines to get some stuff back. And we just immediately spin it again. Yeah, the part where we're starting to conjunction is pretty dang crazy. This is the part where we get dispelled. But hey, it was after we used up all our stuff on conjunction over and over again. And the nice thing is, like, even without any extra value on the conjunction, like, even when we're not actually getting to get most of our payoffs, it's still 50 damage on the cheap. Like, how can you argue with that? You get another one. That seems beyond silly. I think we need a ritual of mind. And then we want to Lunar Whispers because you actually need that shield. Not sure we'll make another one. Alright, we get hit for some damage, but that's fine. Let's see what we get here. Alright, we can then. Starlight. Oh, we're already holding those. Just trying to think, why aren't we getting... Do that. Get more of those. And we have Lunar Whispers. Which is always nice. No, that was the thing I most wanted to keep. Alas. Uh, I think we just need to get more shield. Yeah, we're taking damage here, but it's basically nothing. And we should be able to finish this off here. So many celestial conjunctions. That's very good, but it's a rare, so we can't, or it's an epic, so we can't take it. I think we just need another mana card. This upgrade still seems pretty tempting. The fact is that it just uses up so much of our mana boost, and we are using all our mana boost on conjunctions. Um. Yeah, I think we want that upgrade. And we just, like, have no choice. We have to cut the Sony nap. All right, looks like this is probably going to be split into... Well, mm -hmm. it'd be if I want to split it into two parts. Because on one hand, I want to keep going. But on the other hand... 
I want to split it into two parts. Because I am. Right. So we are going to take a little bit of damage here, but again, it's not a huge deal. Plenty of value going into this turn. Um. Hmm. Drop a bunch of cards. Can't play out these yet. Um, I think one of these has to be for that. Uh, if we draw more cards, then we can get more value. And by more value, I mean I think we're still priced into doing that again. Although, let's stop part of the deck. Drain life. Uh, I don't hate doing that into this. And we can play that just to get the um, whatever created. The peril, of the, not peril, the um, portent of conjunction. All right, we get those for free. Let's draw some cards. Oh, that's not the thing I meant to do. Oops. I was thinking that it was going to be on the other side. Um, let's game Fire Master. Why not? That freezes us in Troxus, which is unfortunate, but we can deal with it. That and that can go. Uh, we'll get more tough out. We're going to get more shield out. For real, on purpose this time. Actually, no, we are going to draw cards this time. Yep. Kind of was assuming that we would find cards worth playing. We can Beseech the Moons for value. Okay, nothing here that we, can, that we can't afford to discard. No, I think the Quick Bolt's not worth our mana. I think that needs to go. So it's our green time we have to draw it naturally, and although it's not useless, it is not really useful either. Um, this is still okay, it's just like slow healing. Um, let's draw a bunch of cards. We can change stances a couple times. Does that do anything to help us? We need celestial conjunction. Okay, this is going to cost exactly all our mana. So I won't be able to change stances until after I do it. But, now I've changed stances. Get that critical going. Yeah, I can do that. Explosive. Oh, so, yeah. Just got the achievement for doing 100 damage with one card. Uh, we'll strength this on. And I think I'm just going to do this in strength again. So I'll make these stronger and stronger. And we'll play. No reason we should share our bounty. Alright. Absolutely. Absolutely we're doing that. Um, get more tough. Um, do that heal? Get my weak out, I guess. Alright. Just trying to heal, but it should change off of that once we break its shield. Uh, absolutely game. And play vulnerable. And ruin the day. Sometimes you just need to do some mild day ruining. Um... I think we can afford to start with reflection. Boop. Okay. I uh, can't take that. Don't really love... Ah, uh, divination's fine, I guess. That doesn't do anything for us. That doesn't do... That's actually kind of bad for us. 
That's okay. That's better, definitely better than the Arcane Cloak, I think. Because the Arcane Cloak is only doing stuff for us in very rare circumstances. Like, it'll help us against Protectors, but we can't... We don't care about the Protector cards right now. Critical Chance, Critical Damage are nice. Um, let me go ahead and remove the card that I said I was going to remove, which was the Quick Bolt. And I'm going to upgrade... Again, like, I want to upgrade these for the extra, for the better Ritual of Mind, but I don't really want to upgrade them for the Starlight or whatever, because I think that uses up too much. This upgrade's actually okay. Oh, I think we, we may just do that. Just make sure we have plenty of mana boost. Oh, yeah, we are fighting, all right, we're fighting Bail later, not Maw. Uh, so Shield is the problem. That means that I do kind of want to do this fight in particular, so we can get that turn to Gunk. I think it's the only card I super care about. We can go after it again there. We have a reroll token, we should be able to force it. We can go through that fight, which should be pretty easy. I don't care about it. Uh, Bane, I don't care about... Frantic Council, that's not terrible. Purging Water is pretty okay. Alright. Let's make some friends. What's on top of the deck? Virtual Mind. So we're just going to Virtual Mind twice, I think. Well, yeah. No, we're just going to Virtual Mind twice. Gonna take some damage here, but that's really okay. Because it's a pretty insignificant amount of damage, and we have some healing. So. Oh, rip. Uh, there goes our mana. This is the danger of doing what we were up to. Um, and now we are fatigued, which is a little unfortunate. I think we are going to strengthen this one. There's not man on top still, right? Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, we're gonna strengthen this one. But fortunately we have enough, whatever. Right, now we have a half moon plus, to work with. I believe we actually have two, right? Both of them are evolved. Yeah, just that one's a little ways down. Oh, we should get out that. Uh, we should actually do that, because I'll block this curse from coming out. Alright. Get vulnerable out on you. The first of those going... Oh, right, we're, we're holding it, waiting for the cross to draw that. But we can't draw it if we are already holding it. Uh, a little bit of an awkward set of draws here, but... Oh, duh. Of course, I go for Lunar Whispers here. What am I thinking? I'm not thinking. That's the problem. Uh, we get more Wits this way. We just save the two mana. We save the two mana. Still really like that. Just, like, extra incidental damage from the Drain Life. Very handy. Uh, we don't know what's going to be on top, because we have not on that. In which case, let's just go for it. Alright, um, I feel like just getting assaults off. Uh, we could... Like, I've got this spyglass that I'm just barely even using because I, I'm, I, why would I need to? Uh, Drain Life is on top of the deck. I really don't hate copying, getting a free copy of that. Like, that trouble basically pays for itself. Um, sugar mana boost again. Kind of to get more ritual of mine so that we've got it ready for the celestial conjunction. Although looking at what we are drawing into, that makes sense. Uh, we are in sun mode. We'll get strength to the sun. I guess that's kind of a wind and rum sort of thing. And then we'll just let those do damage. That would freeze us, which would be a little unfortunate. And we just want to do it at the right time. I think we are kind of priced into a Lunar Whispers here. And we can just do that. Could have blocked the freeze that way, I guess, but it doesn't seem super worth it. And it's Celestial Connection time.
Nice. And goodbye. Yep, purging waters. Uh, gives us a way to cleanse, which could be useful going into this fight. Um, upgrade a skill. What do we upgrade? Um, we can try one of these and see if it's usable. All right. Absolutely, we need that. But at that point, we may as well try extra cards first. Ritual of Mind. Oh, I should get that out first. Oops. It's fine. Yes, I could have done whatever, but I'm more worried about keeping up my mana boost for next turn than I am about... Well, I guess we have this. So, that was kind of a silly worry. Top card deck is Divination. Not super useful to have extras out. Uh, now new top card deck is still not useful. Kind of need more ways to just draw exactly one card. Um, let's see. That. I guess we can... Yeah, we can Starfall to get the Runic Study off. And now we can trigger Wits twice. Top card of the deck is Nocturnal Insight. Sure, we can trigger one of those. Uh, I don't think I'm actually playing that. So this will now... We should go for Virtual Mind Plus. Don't want to have it. And we can do that, which will get us value. Um. Half Moon. Um. Basically, right now it just comes down to: Am I going for additional whatever here? Hmm. Are we sun bolting? I think the answer is yes. We are sun bolting. Get sun bolted. Um, did you see what the top two cards are? Yeah, I don't really want to draw those right now. Uh, you can get Frozen, maybe? That's a plug. Alright, we just need to do this because we want to send Bolt you out of existence. Goodbye. You have been determined superfluous. And that well cleanse us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because we're going to do this, because then we are going to uh, Beseech the Moon. So it occurs to me I now still am one minute short of where I want to be. All right, that'll fix it. Because we really need to Lunar Whispers here. That'll do not a ton of damage, but it'll do some. Oh, no, because that's... Sorry, I was thinking of... Anyway. Give me a second. Um, we just need to draw a bunch of cards here. Um, sure. I think we're going to be at zero mana. We are absolutely not. Uh, it doesn't complain that, but actually, I said that. May as well do that. 
Just get the power of all the mighty for later. Keep the mana for later. Alright, uh, we're gonna be sunbolting, I think. Yeah, we're definitely sunbolting. Just a question of what else we're doing first. Uh, let's draw some cards. Okay, I want to get this off, which we can do with the help of a sunbolt. Give me a sunbolt. Thank you. Get sunbolted. And we just do some cleansing. Some light cleansing. And we can sunbolt again. Um, seven so extra mana. Is there a mana on top? There's not. Okay, well. That's what I get for making poor choices. Because I don't really want to draw into whatever. Now that it matters a ton, we're going to get into the Celestial Conjunction, and that's going to be the fight. Deep. Get conjuncted. Uh, I kind of would just take another one of those. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, definitely not. Just discard and keep moving. Move a card. Uh, plunder, I think it's... I, I don't like the risk on it. Uh, what's on top? Focus? Sure. Happily taking one of those. Uh, we're just taking Mendo. Definitely already there for taking the purity, knowing that these guys are being jerks. I'm just getting fast for Fire Master for now. Okay. There's that end of turn fun. Alright, so we can draw a bunch of cards if we want to. Uh, we can also dance if we want to. We can leave our friends behind. Because our friends don't dance, and since they don't dance well, they're no friends of mine. Oh, this draws me so many cards. Um... Sure. Just, I was not prepared to draw that many cards. Uh, I need to, yeah, I still need to play one more thing. Make room for all of these cards. Um, let's get... Huh. I think we may just need that. Definitely want to play that. Uh, so we will, we can, oh, right, random. I think that's still worth more. Oh, that's hard to say. I maybe should have. Huh. We have tough. We can get more shield if we, um... I don't like doing that, but I think it's worth it to get the shield. since we do get to do this. I guess at that point we can do that again as well, which going into this mode just to get. And we at least get to swap that one over. Putting we on, unfortunately, the same one again. But we don't end up actually taking that much damage despite how big of a number that ends up being. Ooh, we are now shocked, which is gonna be a lot of damage. Less than I was expecting, honestly. Um, half moon, half moon, doop doop. Oh yeah, we were that was just using it both of our frail. Let's see, what do we get out of this? Probably should have just taken uh, the status. All right, uh, somebody's getting sun bolted. I don't have control over who, but somebody's getting sun bolted. Congratulations, you've been sun bolted. Um, yay! Uh, somebody else is getting sent bolted. Congratulations, you're a lucky winner again. Look, I don't, I don't pick who gets sun bolted. Not here, I don't. Uh, we'll draw some cards. And you also just never get tagged, I guess. Huh? So that will let us. Ritual of Metal? Is that what we need to do? 
Yeah, I think so. Um. All right, cool. There we go. Yeah, this ends up being okay. Uh, we can get tougher and sturdier. Uh, we're now going to have a problem here, aren't we? Yeah, because I need men here. That'll work. Even more mana, or even more whatever. Uh, we can create a temporary copy of that for all that it'll do for us. Mostly just for the wits. Nothing happens. Take a critical and mighty, I think. The sensor win, we're in stars. Uh, our class conjunctions are quite a ways down, but we can draw quite a few cards, so, you know. Unfortunately, still not quite enough cards, but yeah, we're almost there. Sure. This will shock us, but who cares? Because we are going to conjunction. Victory. Yeah, down a little bit of health, but we get to pick up a turn to gunk. So we can gunk them, as the kids say. The kids probably don't say that, but I wouldn't know. Uh, I think we just are gonna start reflection a couple times, mostly just so that we can get that out. Uh, we might as well get stun 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 stance here. Like that, we get to do that. Which was super... Oh. The whole reason I did that again was so I could get the second off. And then I just forgot that that's what I was doing. Um, where are we at on... What was I looking for? Oh, the turn to gunk. No, I was looking for the... For the purging waters, which is now on top of the list. Which... If I can... I don't have a way to get that... To get it off the top of the deck without just drawing it. Which... So I don't have any growth, which I would like. But I can just draw it. Just a little awkward. Um, thinking through how we get to the number. Because then we also want to bounce back up. All right, I've got a plan. We're going to beseech the moon for a plan. Please, moon, give us a plan. And that also does give us... Hey, we beseech the moon and the moon responded. That's what that means, right? These are just determined to always hit that one with weak. This one is just never going to hit it. It's just going to dodge all the pocket sand. So you get for throwing sand in a wild storm. That is, I, we should be glad it's not hitting us, if we're being honest. We absolutely are going to need to um, insight for shield, I think. Yeah, we don't have any sturdy going yet, which is unfortunate. But Wow, we get way more mana there than I expected. I'm going to starf all this just to get that off. Nothing happens. Okay. Get seven mana for turn. Whoop. So now we have one of those. How many do we have left? Okay. Um. That's going to turn into a shield. And we're going to stance swap. I think we're going to strength once. 
but we may as well change stance first so that I can get the lunar armor out with as much uh, lunar armor as possible. I mean, lunar armor twice. And then we can, we're gonna lunar whispers with that one, which will get our mana back. And then we're gonna use that mana type for strength for the sun. Pretty much always happy to start in star stance because we can just, at worst case scenario, draw a billion cards. All right. Pretty happy with that outcome, actually. Obviously, I would rather not be shocked, but if I am going to be shocked. I think I want to try and start reflection that. Yeah, this works out. Conveniently, we even get to do this. Um, could do that. Uh, we are kind of in need of shield, but that's not going to help us with that. Uh, we can pitch the whole hand. I'm trying to think of our options. We kind of need to get here. So we pitch the whole hand. We end up with... I think that actually works out. Yeah, definitely works out because we have this. So we can do that, which is worth quite a bit of mana. We don't get to use this, but... Everything else is working out great, so can't complain too much. And we're not doing bad on, we're doing pretty okay on whatever. So now we use up that. Um. That needs to happen. Get rid of that. Oh, and then we can just sunbolt something. All right, the doom eats the purity. That's fine. I think we might be able to get the kill this turn. We'll see. At minimum, this will let us kill the front one, and then we we'll have to see what we can find for the last one, for the back one. Oh, that'll do. Um. Doop. Uh, can't take either of those. Runic Shield is basically just worse than what we've been doing. But I don't really want a second uh, whatever retort. Tormenting Gloves, we're just not doing enough with. This is very good. I will happily take that over the status decrease, which is going to be, yeah, irrelevant for the rest of the run. For the upgrade, uh, I do kind of just want to upgrade that. That upgrade is also pretty good. Give us additional tough, which we don't really need. That upgrade is probably unnecessary. What am I looking at cutting here? Just the Runic Shield immediately? Quip Shot? Quip Shot's been okay. Probably should upgrade the Quip Shot, actually. Give it higher base damage. Um, uh, we could just cut the Divination again. I think the Runic Shield is unnecessary with the Nocturnal Insights. Alright. Here we go. I would actually take one of those two cards. The cards from those two. Uh, do we need the rain life this turn? I don't think so. I think you're going for... Oh, that is not the thing I was... I thought we were in moon stance for some reason. This is awkward. Fine. And we can do Starlet Reflection, largely just to draw that. Hey, that actually works out very well. I am very smart. Um, I think we're shooting Ritual of Mind. I just think we've done everyone. Why not? Throw that at the one that's actually, that's actually gonna hit. We get hit for a little bit of damage here, but we got a lot of uh, value built up, so. Uh, just pitch the triple, of course. We don't actually need to cleanse, so we can just do that. Uh, is it worth sun bolting right now? I don't think so. I think we're just going to strength the sun a couple times. 
which is relatively low value right now because we don't have uh, any of whatever's generated, but we'll take it. Um, take away one of your evasions. Oh, I messed up by, I guess I would have had to done it very first if I wanted to get that out. Let's invade with that. And the next one will be able to start getting some sturdy generated. So we can keep more shield before, between turns. Uh, da, 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 da. Divination, screw that card. Lunar armor. Uh, it's weird to get the For value. Lunar armor for value. Lunar whispers for value. Out because that will actually get me back to this, and we can play more with you just for fun. We are now going to be uh, cursed, but only lightly. Uh, I think we can afford that this turn. I guess maybe we could have. Look, planning is hard. So that gets us back pocket shield. Make that go away. Uh, tag you while you're not hidden. We're just gonna draw a bunch of cards. Consider just turning that to gunk. So that I can do ritual. Well, I don't really need to study right now. I don't really need that either. Yeah, we take a little bit of damage, but that's fine. I'm just gonna pitch the shrivel again. Absolutely, we're gonna strengthen the sun. What's on the top of the list? The half moon. Yeah, we'll happily copy a half moon. Just all upside, baby. Uh, unfortunately, those dorks have evasion, so there's always a chance that we're just gonna straight outright miss them. But we can try. No luck. Hey, we got a hit. Kinda of starting to need more rows. We can solar flare. That'll get some more damage out. I should have thought about getting this off to get the bleed out, but we can bleed out this one this turn. And then maybe kill that one with hits. Uh don't need that, I think. Alright. Garot. Top of the deck, drain life. That seems pretty good. Just now, do that to get healed, and we're back to the level. All right. Uh, yeah, run's going relatively long, but looking pretty good. And yeah, I think it will take the frantic onslaught over the spell scry. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yes, that I think is really good with the um, the sifter. Uh, that's probably better than the Assassin's Kit. Especially with me forgetting to use the Assassin's Kit. Gives us another chance at potentially getting, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, we probably need that shield. I'll probably get that back. Okay. We are in sun mode. Let's... Oof, I think I need that. We are going to Salt. 
As promised, that means that is going to happen. Alright. I was kind of hoping that would be enough to get us uh, a treasure. It almost was. We are now cursed. Just slightly. Um, why did that draw? We are in moon mode. So let's get some lunar armor. Uh, Alright, so we're going to have to do this in order to be able to do Lunar Whispers. What's on top of the deck? Quip shot. Cool, oh, that'll work. But, first... It is unfortunate that I put on top of the deck. Pierce for doors, that's actually good. That'll get us out of vulnerable. Which means we're taking less damage here, although we're actually taking way more damage than I would like. Uh, if, uh, I don't want to play one of these, but I don't really have a choice. We can now weaken you, which is going to make life easier. Just get rid of. I don't know. I think maybe the purging waters. And I get rid of our what call it. These guys hit hard, which is I guess not boding well for uh, Bayleer. So we're gonna starfall. Absolutely going to do this for Lunar Whispers. That was not what I was hoping to see. I'm just going to start fall again. Hmm. Mana, please. I'll take the mighty. It's not everything I wanted, but I'll take it. Okay. I'm going to assume we can get back to pocket sand. Wow, we need more mana boost. That's more mana boost. It's not enough mana boost. Kind of prices into ritual of minding. Could we that way we can use this to get more mana? Top part of the deck is another nocturnal insight. You do not die to this. So, I can just sunbolt you out of existence, though. Kind of super overkill. I do like doing this, because now we just don't have to deal with those next turn. Get rid of the shrivel. Half moon. Uh, draw two. Um, we are absolutely at a starlight point. Do we just read this guy's for? That doesn't help me get rid of my mana. And we read this guy's for what? Uh, a starfall, I guess. It doesn't quite work out. I guess if I do it like this, it does. Boop. Cleansing. Super necessary cleansing. Rampart's doing good work. 
I absolutely don't need these. We are not going to be shuffling around again. Because this is the fight. They're back full health, like it never happened. Um, I don't think we actually need want that. This isn't terrible. It's also not terrible. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. I think we we're actually going to be able to do this one without rests. Ooh. Oh, man. Do we press our luck? Do we do commons only on CPU? I mean, I guess we find out. Two hour video. Um, I don't think we want to read this guy twice. Oh, again, like I keep looking at this as the fight is loading and thinking we are in a different stance than we are. Um, I would really like to do whatever, but I can't. Um, we could just get extra lunar armor here. Taking a bit of damage here, but that I think is okay. We do that to purge, but there's really no reason. I shouldn't even bother playing that one. Just cost me 30 mana for basically no gain. It is unfortunate that my cleanse is now sitting right there. Because I would really like to have it now. Alright, I'm going to assume that we can find other ways to get what we need to get. Get going with what we need to get going. This fight is the fight where we have to worry about opportunists though. Which is annoying. Um, Alright, we can start fault to get Runic Study off. And then I think we're just going to Ritual Divine here for value. Okay, so these jerks need to die is the problem. Um, I probably need that. If there's anything here I don't need, I think that's the most likely thing I can get away with not using. Um, I can copy that, but that's not the most useful thing. Um, top card of the deck is okay, but not amazing. Um, I kind of think I'm priced into Thoughtsing. Also kind of priced into doing that. I don't think we're going to be able to pull up CPU here. I just don't think we have the pieces. I guess I would like to get weak on that before we do whatever. Also, we absolutely are going to get the starting up. Um, let's top of the deck. We can get my D critical. I think we're just going to get that purity out, though. Opportunist is still up on you. Uh, makes drawing a bunch of cards tricky. We can do that, but that doesn't seem super valuable to us right now. And I can do that, but this still seems pretty low value. Get extra shield, because we are going to need to... This gives a bunch of mana for the next turn. Okay. Alright, we are now doomed, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, da -da. That can go, I guess. Opportunist is down at least, but it's called comfort at this point. Um, I think we're drawing a bunch of cards here. Really need to copy that, uh, but. Can we do it? I think we can. Hmm. We almost can, but not quite. Oh, we can. We just have to duplicate this, which I don't think is worth it. I think we're just going to next turn do things. 
I'm going to stick with my original plan. And then... Get that. Just Starfall, I think. That is pretty okay. I think I don't want to be in Sun Stance next turn. Oh. Maybe. So we'll be able to do this this turn. And yeah, like I said, I think I've got to duplicate it. At that point, it's just a matter of getting to the magic number, which we have now done. And Little Whispers is going to be right here because it will let me bounce. Although I do still need to get down again to get that off. Which, eh, that's not going to work. Well, that's unfortunate. And we are doomed to this turn. Which is a rough place to be at with this much. And the opportunist is up. And the Purging Waters is too far down. Actually. We can Starfall. Which leaves the Purging Waters at least. Although we are absolutely in the wrong stance, and we are way too far out of getting to the right stance. Especially since drawing other cards is painful to us. But, it looks like we pulled it off. Alright. I wish we had scaled more in the intervening time. But we are now holding, we are not going to be able to get that this turn. Let's see what's on top of the deck. Equip shot. Okay. Yeah, we have one of those there. We can sunbolt, but it's just not enough. How do we get to uh, sunbolt's the answer though? Right? Yeah. Mana boost. Yeah. So that'll get a shield. And then that will do that. Okay. Right. Um, is that what's going to go? I think we do need more armor. I think this probably has to be purity. I just not enough damage. Yeah, I think it's gotta be purity. stops from getting further cursed from that. Although I think we need to get more cursed from this jerk. Okay, no, it's just the thing to do. Still not great, but there's a way through this at least. For all that it's not pretty. I would like to be able to conjunction this turn. That is... Let's see. Yeah, we are still with two cards off conjunction. Start off conjunction and now we can conjunction. Because we can starfall the conjunction and then play it. And 
that point. I think we do want to do that. Alright. So I want to play that for value. By which I mean to cleanse. So we change stance. This will actually get me eight mana, which will be enough to slash the conjunction again. Thank you. Um, another conjunction just for funds. Oh, this one's to us, unfortunately. But hey, making progress. Just in time for... Okay, summons aren't coming out quite yet. So we have an extra turn of breathing room now. Uh, we don't need that at this point. We do need that. Oh, duh. Depleted. Uh, we can draw exactly four cards. And... We can get more shield if we need it, which we don't right now, but it also gives us mana. And we don't need the extra wits, so. Because we can't starlight anywhere near as much in this fight. Okay, that can go. So many conjunctions. Should have to actually draw into them. Although, uh, whatever is still up. Once again, we can draw exactly four cards safely. Does leave us unable to play this. Oh, I didn't think I wasn't paying enough attention to the Doom. We should have played out the ramparts, we would have bit, we wouldn't have taken any damage. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can play all three of those. Is this four? Yeah, so that doesn't actually trip. Whatever. Okay, so this will give us um, purity when we play it. Should get that out. So we get attacked for damage, but it won't be too bad. I think that that's kind of what we're priced into doing. I think we just want to double the sun stance, the strength of the sun, actually. Because now we have even more damage on that. That will do good damage. Now we can get shield, which means that, yeah, that's fine. Because you're gone. Uh, we can do this, which costs all of our mana boost, but What will we draw with that? Ramparts? That's okay. I think we're just gonna virtual of mind and then immediately spend it. Okay, that, we're, we are absolutely on the downhill slope now. Cause like we got the summons out just immediately. I don't think that's in the cards today, right now. Yeah, no it's not. Uh, we do need the mana boost, I think. And then that can happen. Okay, and so that tripped um, phase two, phase swap, which is nice. That's temporary, so we can transform it safely. Don't need it. Bonk. Bonk. Um... We really want to change stance. This is kind of the worst stance to be in for this. Because this at least we have the chance of saving uh, whatever. Top card is a read the skies, which we'll take. And then we will read a starlit reflection. 
and then go do more damage. We are super going to run out of stuff. Oh, we can astral alignment. Her value. Yeah, we got it. Um. I can go and do this to heal, because I may as well. And there's CPU down with a common, with the all commons deck. Uh, that's not bad, but I don't think I will care. It'd be very funny if we could just get just utterly dumpstered by uh, that one jerk. By uh, Bailator, after all of this effort. Uh, Bane's pretty bad, I think Bane's probably going to go. It's just not really doing anything for us. This, I don't think we're going to need. I'm very glad we had that into CPU, but we, par we probably won't need it for Bay later. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have. That's upgrades. Pretty okay. So many choices. So little time. I think just in case we may want to have the consent market. Actually, no, we can go through a lot of mana once we start going. But yeah, I think the Bane is not really doing anything for us once we get going. And we don't really, we might need not need to rest. Um, hmm, we really want to be in smoon. Oh, we will be in moon mode because that's not, that's a lie we've learned. We're not going to be able to get weak out. Oh no, that just is completely, like, it just shows us this. Okay, that's a problem. Maybe. So we need to draw two cards. Which we can do if we were to mind. Because that turns on Starlight. Which is completely fair. Oh, but now we can stand swap twice, but we've used up our... Hmm, well, that's unfortunate. We don't have a way to get to tough. That's a lie. It just requires us to kind of waste uh, the Spyglass. Uh, do we need to do whatever is the question? The answer might be no. So we're going to Starfall into Runic Studies. And then we're going to Insight for a Lunar Whispers. Which, like, I don't want to do whatever, but... Trying to think, because this will give us six afterwards. So I think we are going to go ahead and Starfall again. Because that will get us the Runic Study back, which is pretty good. And then this will get us... We can actually apply Weak here, which is pretty good. We end up only taking three M, which is... And we end up with a lot of mana boost and Wits. Which is a pretty good spot to be in, I think. Um, probably just going to turn that to Gunk. Do we need that this turn? Uh, maybe not. And we don't need that this turn. Uh, just bonus damage, I think. Yeah, the big thing here is obviously just getting out that lunar armor. Unfortunately, we're going to be taking five recoverable here. But we got through the first two turns, which tend to be the hardest part of a bay later fight. I don't know that we need that right now. That'll give us purity, which is nice. Last card in the deck is Vicious Retort. I think we'll play this first. We will take... Um, honestly, we'll just keep getting growth building. Get to cleanse, which is worth basically nothing, but we get to do it. Um, and Starlight.
Um, should have checked what the top card of the deck is. Oh, it's not drawn inside. Interesting. So I'm definitely sand swapping here. I think I'm just getting all the way up to whatever. Honestly, no sure, we can go ahead and do that. Oh, I meant to stance swap on purpose so that I could be in Lunar Stance this turn. I'm dumb. Oh dear. It'll be fine. It's on top of the deck. Doesn't even matter, we're just gonna draw so many cards. Uh, Starlight. Draw infinity cards. All right, now we can change stance. Uh, kind of like boosting the Amazon Conjunction. In my head, I guess this actually does work out. We can get this, and we still end up with whatever. Um, pop, and then we can actually, oh, it doesn't matter what we go for here because we are not going to be able to afford it. And yeah, I don't want that Portent of Conjunction. I don't want to play the Portent of Conjunction. Conveniently, we just barely avoid being put in a bad spot there. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we aren't going to be able to get whatever. So the question is just, do we want to? Yeah, I think we absolutely do. Absolutely, we're going to start the Reflection. Boop. Seems pretty good for us. Less good for uh, Bay later. Uh, draw cards, I think. Yep. Switch dance. And then we want to get, I think, Strength of the Sun out. Just the strongest sunning we can do. Not because we have to, but because we want to. Yeah, Failator is doomed. Uh, da -da -da, don't need that. So we can get purity here, which I think is the play. I'm gonna learn whispers. If you get purity, we just get more binding critical. I like about the uh, whatever. Uh, we're just gonna duplicate these. So we can just hit for some damage because it'll be fun. Uh, we're gonna starlight because we can't. May as well draw like, just a billion cards. Oh, we're just gonna turn this one to gunk. Uh, we need to stand swap a couple times, but I don't think it's going to happen. I also don't think it's going to matter. It's not going to happen. Yep. And there we get Commoner and Insomnia. So... And we got the Night Stalker and the CPU achievements because the achievements are new. So even though I fought them in other uh, videos, this is the first time that I actually got that. Anyway, so that is it for this run. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that maybe you learned something, but probably not. Because like I said, I think some of this stuff is still going to change on AMO before release. So I will probably do at least another one more commons only run uh, later on so that I have one that you can actually use the deck list. Uh, but yeah. Depth 3 isn't that hard, actually, when you don't have idols on. I think that's the main lesson. See you for whatever the next video is. Toodles.